Welcome and thanks for joining me. Today I'll be making Kool-Aid pie. Let's get started. Okay, I'll be making peach mango. And here I have a few pieces of peaches that I have drained. They were in a can. And I have some uh, mango. I have some fresh mango here. Just cut a few pieces off and I'm going to chop these up. You can make these bigger, as bigger, as big or as small as you like. going to make this months ago and um, never got around to it. Now finally here I am making the Kool-Aid pie. take a paper towel. I'm not going to smush them, but I'm going to get some of those juices out because I don't want all the juice to break down the other ingredients for the pie. Mm -hmm. They're nice and juicy as you can see. set that aside. Here I have some sweetened condensed milk. This is so simple. Mm, I love this stuff. It's terrible. But it tastes so good. Sweet and buttery. And delicious. You don't want to waste any of this if you can help it because it's so good. I'm going to add in the Kool-Aid. Mmm, it smells so good. I have the whisk. I don't know why I'm not using it. I have to taste it. Plenty flavor in there. Plenty. Can I add some of this fruit in? Not sure if I'll need it all.
one of the easiest pies ever and tastiest. I think that's quite enough fruit. Okay, I'm gonna have my cool whip. I'm gonna use this whole container. Three ounces is this. This is a, the eight ounce container, the original. Fold this in. Remove this. I'm gonna change to a spatula. You wanna just fold it in because you don't wanna break it. Don't just go in and stir it like that. Take your time. I think the kids will probably love this. It's not something you want to give them all the time because they'll probably be bouncing off the wall because it is a sweet treat. Mix it well. You know it's mixed well when there's no more white streaks from the Cool Whip. And so now I have a ready mixed graham cracker crust. Take that and use. Fold this in to the uh, pie crust. Look at that. Mmm, mmm. So good. There's so many different flavors to choose from. You can mix them up or just pick your favorite. Pick the one that you love. Mm -hmm. Hold on. And we're going to put it in the fridge and it's going to chill. I'm going to say for a couple hours. Put it in the coldest part of the fridge. Mmm.
again that I'll be back when it's done. I'm gonna put the top on too. That's up here. You know, sometimes pies and things like that will pick up the pick up the um what am I trying to say? You know, the flavor sits in the air, like if you have an onion or something in there. Your pie and your pie crust pick it up. You don't want that. Mm -mm. Okay. Into the fridge. It goes. Okay, out of the fridge. I just added a little fruit and I uh, put a little whipping cream on the top. Let's cut it and see what happened. Still pretty soft. I know you need to keep this in the fridge for some hours. Probably about three or four. So it can get nice and solid. But we're going to taste it right now. Mm -hmm. It was setting up pretty good. You just have to let it continue to set up. Like I say, probably about four or five hours. And let's give this a taste. That's fabulous. <coughs> pretty good. I think I like a lemon one too. That would probably be delicious. Well, thanks for hanging out with me. And remember to pray. Then pray some more. Pray for her. Pray for him. Pray for you. Pray for them. Pray for us. Don't stop praying. Pray. And remember to give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Tap that bell if you haven't. Share with friends and family. And comment. I would love to hear from you. And until next time. Boop. Mmm. That's good. Eat well and stay blessed. Mmm. Love ya. Later. This is really tasty. Tasty. Mm. Bye.